Okay, so this next lesson is on what I call exploring arithmetic mean. All right, we have a simple objective here. It says I can apply arithmetic mean to scenarios involving one, two, three, and four missing terms in a sequence. All right, well, the first thing we have to do is understand what is this thing called arithmetic mean. Now, arithmetic mean is not new to us. It's an average. It's when you take two numbers, you add them together, and you divide by two. But what's going to happen is that scenario is only going to work when we're missing one term. So, for instance, in this first example here, I know to find that missing term, because they tell me it's arithmetic, I can add those two, 32 plus 48, and divide that by 2. Or in other words, 80 divided by 2, and I know that this missing term here is 40. All right? But what if I have two missing terms? Well, this adding and dividing by two no longer works. So what do we do for this? And this is what I mean by exploring this idea of arithmetic mean. All right? This is why we learned about arithmetic sequences and specifically this thing called an arithmetic sequence or explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence. All right, what are we going to do? The first thing that we're going to do is take our scenario and write the explicit formula. The reason why we're doing that is we want to be able to find the common difference. Then we're going to apply the common difference to find the missing terms. For example, if I found the common difference here, guys, I know in this first example that the common difference is 8. That allows me to go 32 plus 8 gives me 40. 40 plus 8 gives me 48. It works. All right. So I just copied the example where I put the question mark right here. Now, I know that we have this formula. A sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. What we are trying to figure out now is what d is. So I have to know a sub n, a sub 1, and n. All right. Now, we've got to reflect back a little bit. What does a sub n mean? That means the value of a number in a particular position. How about we call this 568 a sub n? Now, that equals a sub 1. We should know that. That's the first term, negative 32, plus n. How do we figure out n? Well, we know this is a sub 1. So this term would be a sub 2, a sub 3, and this thing that we called a sub n is really a sub 4, telling me that there are four terms in this sequence that is arithmetic. You multiply that times d. Now, I know that I'm going to add 32 here, so that gives me, what am I doing? That would be 600. Is equal to... 3d, or if I divide both sides by 3, I get d is equal to 200. Now, how does that help me? Well, I know that if I take negative 32 and add to it 200, I get the first missing term is 168. If I add 200 to that, I know the second missing term is 368. And if I add 200 to that, I get this term 568. Therefore, I know that the two missing terms are 168 and 368. Okay? What if I'm missing three terms? Well, there's actually two ways that you can do this. One would be find the middle term first by adding and dividing by 2. Then take the first term and the third term, add and divide by 2. Take this middle term, the third term, and the fifth term, add and divide by 2 to find the fourth term. So that all works. Or I can use my explicit formula. And it says a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 5 minus 1 times d. If I subtract 11, I get 32 is equal to 4d. Or in other words, this has a common difference of 8. If I add 8 to 11, the first missing term is 19. 
add 8 again, 27, add 8 again, 35, add 8 again, I end up with 43. I know that this is my missing terms of the sequence. All right? Same pattern again. What if I'm missing four terms? No problem. I have a sub n, 19, is equal to a sub 1, 34, plus n. Let's see here. 1, start with the one that's given. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be 6 minus 1 times d, and i got to find the common difference. Now, if I take 19 minus 34, I get negative 15 is equal to 5d, or d in this case is negative 3. And if you think about it, it makes sense because 34 to 19, I have to be going down in values. All right, if I subtract 3 from 34, I have 31 and 28 and 25, and 22, and if I subtract 3 again, I end up with 19. Therefore, these are my four missing terms. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.